Rogers is a British brand name of Rogers International Limited, a subsidiary of Wo Ki Hong Holdings Limited, a company based in Hong Kong that produces a variety of audio electronic products. The company produces a variety of hi fi products, such as amplifiers, receivers, car audio equipment, and LCD TVs, but is best known for its loudspeakers. Rogers was founded by Jim Rogers in 1947. An early example was the Rogers theatrical horn loudspeaker. In the early 1970s, Rogers was commissioned by the BBC to produce the LS3 5A. Some 50,000 pairs have been built worldwide to date. Meanwhile, LS5 eighths and LS5 9 studio monitors were manufactured under license from the BBC and have been used in recording studios worldwide. In 1975, Michael O'Brien as chairman and Brian Pook as MD by Rogers from the receiver. To do this, Michael O'Brien bought an off the shelf trading company called Swistone. Swistone, trading as Rogers, with six former employees, retained the BBC license for the LS3 5A and start manufacturing. Later in 1978 Rogers under Michael O'Brien and Brian Pook by Chartwell from the official receiver. In 1993 the brand was sold off to its new Chinese owners Wo Ki Hong Holdings, who had since developed the Rogers brand to include surround sound speakers, car audio equipment, Dolby digital receivers and plasma and LCD TV screens. Although Wo Ki Hong owns the rights to the name, it had retained Swistone as the sole researcher and designers of the Rogers speakers, therefore preserving the brand's British origins for a while. In 1998 as a result of a dramatic downturn in its Asian exports, the company closed the last of its UK manufacturing sites, and moved all production to Asia, where it has resided since. In 2018 Rogers back to UK. And start making hi-fi products such as LS3-5A and LS5 ninths and tube amplification E20A. Versions of the Rogers LS3-5A on display in a second-hand shop LS3-5A in the early 1970s, the BBC was in need of a small monitor speaker for use in restricted areas outside broadcast vans during location recording. To that end, they commissioned their research department to develop such a compact speaker, and an experimental loudspeaker developed during preliminary. Work on acoustic scaling provided the basis for the LS3-5A. The outcome was then licensed to commercial speaker companies for production. Aside from Rogers, other manufacturers licensed by the BBC to produce the LS3-5A included Chartwell, Audiomaster, Spender, and Harbeth. The LS3-5A was Rogers' most successful loudspeaker, and to date 50,000 pairs have been built worldwide. Other hi-fi products during the 1980s, Rogers made the A75 and A100 amplifiers and the T100 FM tuner. Rogers also produced a pair of active subwoofers, called LS3-5B, which were designed specifically for the LS3-5S. The subwoofers were sold complete with their own electronic crossover, which used the same chassis as the A75-A100 amplifiers. LS5 eighths and 5 ninths these studio speakers were manufactured by Rogers under licenses granted by the BBC, and have been installed in many recording studios. JR149 Jim Rogers, who set up JR Loudspeakers Limited after the collapse of Rogers Audio, released the JR149 in 1977 using the same drive units as the LS3-5A in a cylindrical aluminium cabinet. A review of the JR149 in the May 1977 Hi-Fi News and Record Review found that the general quality was very comparable to the LS3-5A. LS33. The final, and often overlooked, speakers to be manufactured by Rogers in the UK with qualities that build upon the DNA of previous models. Displaying hugely impressive musicality, sound staging and the clinical monitor quality that rightly won Rogers many followers in the previous decades. Rogers Audio Hi-Fi, Pier Paolo Ferrari, 2017, April, Sandit Editor Bergamo, Italy, ISBN 9788869282035-5. Thanks for watching.